loss of both engine-driven generators. Before starting, please check the video description for updates and corrections. Master caution, electrical. Source off number two. It's checked. You can reset the master caution. Reset. Autopilot A is engaged. Let's read the source off checklist. Source off checklist. Only one source light is illuminated. Checked. Engine generator switch affected side. On. On. The autopilot disengaged, I have the controls. What happened? Both source off lights are illuminated. Checked. The checklist says to go to the loss of both engine driven generators checklist. Roger, let's read it. Condition, both engine driven generators are off. Note, at high altitude, thrust deterioration or engine flameout may occur. Roger. Engine generator switches, both. On, one at a time. Number one, on. The light is still illuminated. I'll try number two. The light is also illuminated. Roger. I will start descending now to avoid a risk of an engine flameout. Call ATC, declare Mayday and notify we are descending now. Inform A that we are diverting to Bahrain. Roger. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Alpha Bravo Charlie descending now due to the loss of both engine-driven generators. We are on electrical standby power only. Alpha Bravo Charlie, copy your Mayday, you are clear to fly direct to Bahrain VOR and descend to the altitude of 10,000 feet, QNH 1018. I'm expediting our descent. The best chance to start the APU is below 25,000 feet. Let's keep reading the checklist. Continuing the checklist it says, with both source off lights illuminated, choose one, APU is available for start or, APU is not available. It is available. Just a moment, the cabin is above 10,000 feet. Don your mask, switch to manual control E try to control the pressurization. Cancelling the warning. Manual mode selected. Outflow valve closed. The cabin altitude is under control. Agree. I will continue controlling the pressurization with the manual mode. Set the fasten belt signs on. Roger. Let's keep reading the checklist. Continuing the checklist it says, with both source off lights illuminated, choose one, APU is available for start or, APU is not available. It is available. In this case, bus transfer switch. Off. Off. Checked. Electric hydraulic switch pumps, both. Off. Off. Checked. Note, APU starts are not recommended above 25,000 feet. With both buses off, only one start attempted is recommended. Multiple start attempts reduce standby power capacity. We are already below 25,000, you can start the APU. APU. Start. Master caution, APU. APU fault. Roger, you can move the APU switch to off. With the APU not available the checklist says, avoid icing conditions. Note, flight in icing conditions can result in erroneous flight instrument indications. Roger. Plan to land at the nearest suitable airport. Note, a fully charged battery supplies a minimum of 30 minutes of standby power. The right IRS will operate on DC power for 5 minutes. Roger. Choose 1. Only the first officer's primary attitude display is failed. Do you agree? Agree. IRS transfer switch, both on left. Both on left. Checked. Do not engage either autopilot. Choose one, both source off lights are illuminated, do you agree? 
Agree. Transition level, set QNH1018. 1018 set. Request right turn to heading 120 and descent to 2000 feet. Mayday Alpha Bravo Charlie, your request is approved. You are clear for the ILS approach runway 30 right. Report when turning to intercept final. Continuing the checklist, the left IRS will operate as long as battery power remains. Plan to land at the nearest suitable airport. Loss of both engine-driven generators checklist completed. Roger, I am turning right to intercept a long downwind leg for runway 30 right. Check for me what is inoperative. From the top left. Your damper inoperative. Roger, we are not supposed to land with flaps 40. Let's land with flaps 30. Affirm, all fuel pumps inoperative. Roger, fuel from the center tank is unusable. Window and probe heaters inoperative. Roger, there is no icing condition. Pressurization working in manual mode only. Roger, approaching 2000 feet we can open the outflow valve. 10,000 feet. Checked. Set the FMC for the approach. Roger. I have the course and the ILS number one set for runway 30 right. Roger. Please, give a short NITS briefing to the crew, telling them that we will have a precautionary landing in five minutes. I will. Captain, we also have the anti-skid inoperative. Roger, I will not arm the speed brakes and I will brake carefully using full reverse thrust. Roger. We are approaching 6,000 feet, you can start moving the outflown valve to the open position. Okay. Short briefing. Landing in Bahrain, ILS runway 30 right set on the FMC. Course and radio number one set for the approach. Visual conditions. We will not have the flap indication available, so let's monitor its extension checking the yellow bar of the speed tape. The electric trim is inoperative, and I may need your help to trim the aircraft. After landing, I will extend the speed brakes manually, and I will apply manual brakes and use maximum reverse thrust, having in mind the anti-skid is inoperative. Questions? Negative. We are passing 4,000 feet. I will move the outflow valve to fully open position. Affirm. Flaps 1. Repot we are intercepting final. Mayday Alpha Bravo Charlie, you are clear to land runway 30 right, wing 360 at 8, QNH 1018. I can see the yellow bar is moving down, no roll. I am reducing the speed to flaps 1 speed. Roger. Flaps 5. On the localizer. Checked. Yellow bar moving down, no roll. Reducing speed to flaps 5 speed. Checked. Gear down. Flaps 15. Yellow bar moving down, no roll. Reducing speed to flaps 15 speed. Checked. Flaps 30. Landing checklist. Start switches. Continuous. Speed brakes. Not armed. Landing gear. Down. Flaps. Flap lever 30, makes sense with the yellow bar. Landing checklist completed. 1000 configured. Checked. Speed brakes up. Reversers normal. Thank you for watching.